Hey everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. Happy Friday to you. Um, I have been thinking for a while about buying a Cafe Notes, the B6 Slim size from um, Nanami. Anyway, I went back and forth. You know, you can make a TN uh, to, to fit your traveler's notebook cover. And I finally thought, I really just want to buy the thing. It's a little bit thicker. Um, and what made me decide to do it was is that I broke down and yes, I ordered another traveler's notebook. Ah, I said I wasn't going to do it and I did. It's a long story and I'll get to that when I do the unboxing when that comes in a few weeks. But in the meantime, the um, cafe notes that I decided to use in my coming B6 Slim from Rowena at Sojourner USA, um, that's what this is for. So I'm going to use that to journal things, write things to my husband and my kids. And I've just been kind of in the mood to do that um, lately and kind of have things that are left behind for a keepsake for them. So anyway, and just to help me focus on enjoying them and watching their progress. I did start to open this and I thought, hey, I can do an unboxing because I have never had one of these and I'm super excited about trying it out. I think, there's my order notes, I think it has the, I don't know for sure if it has the Tomoe River paper in it or not, but I've heard a lot about that. I have never used it, so it's going to be a first time for me to try this brand of notebook anyway. So first of all, this is like super slick, very, very soft. It just feels really nice. I mean, you could carry that around and it would feel very comfortable, very soft. Um, anyway, Nanami's Cafe Note, and this is the grid. I didn't see it available in anything besides grid, and I like grid okay. I like grid, and I like the dots a little bit better than the line. So then, I just noticed this, this does come off. So chances are I will remove that when I use it in my B6 Slim that I'm getting. I do have this B6 Slim also from Rowena at Sojourner, um, which I have really, really liked. I love the, the leather on this. Um, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked so we can see how it looks fit inside of that. I also ordered a B6 Slim insert when I ordered the new Sojourner Traveler's Notebook cover. So it's going to be interesting to see how those compare. I'm thinking that one's going to be a lot thinner, but there weren't a lot of specs on it. So it just has this in there. There may be a reason for that that I don't know, but I'm wondering if that's like a blotter paper, if you use um, a fountain pen on this. So it's a much smaller grid, and the grid is, if you're not familiar with it, like a um, grayish, very faint gray, very soft gray, and they are like dotted lines. So each grid itself is made up of dots versus a solid line. So I mean, that's, that's what that is, just all the same. No bookmark thingies. Let's see if there's anything on the back cover. Nope, it's just your basic notebook. It's kind of a reddish, a deep red, or maybe you would call it a reddish brown, and it actually makes me think a lot of this Roadrunner color. So just for fun. Oh, and this is 384 pages, by the way. It says B6 here, but when you go to the website, nanamipaper.com, it comes up as B6 Slim, so I'm hoping that that's accurate or that could be a bit of a problem. Somebody else told me that too. <clears throat> so let's just take out this insert. This is really cute. I got that from Yellow Paper House. I love fall things and leaves and I got the fall leaf one a while back. But that looks comparable to this, doesn't it? Maybe just ever so slightly more narrow, but barely. Let's see. I mean, like the width wise, it's maybe a millimeter or two 
yeah maybe not even that much it's really almost identical just a slight slightly smaller width wise but the height looks about the same so let's see how this might fit into my coming traveler's notebook so what i ordered um this next time around is not a traveler's notebook doesn't have the strings it's just going to be a folio I'm really excited about trying it and I love the leather color so I can't wait to show you that all right I am back that took me a minute just to get my phone to turn off it's kind of weird anyway so here it is just with the cafe notes in the b6 slim Rowena um, is the maker uh, sojourner so it's a nice fit I, again it will be in a folio not trying to um, take something like this with the strings in a book that is so thick I guess you could try to find the center to try that out and I'm just using the center too um, but they do they do say that this B6 slim fits the cafe notes and I think it will work marvelously when it's in the folio setup this is a little bit just as you can see the strings I don't know it just is hard to work with this book I think like that but it does mold around it nicely and it has a really good feel I like this when it's um not overstuffed I mean I do like that and I love the look I love the chunky but I'm also getting to where I just like the feel of something that's kind of thick in there but not being a huge amount it feels real carryable portable like it's something I could grab and go and that will be my setup for the other journal that's coming the other folio it's going to be a thing that I hope I can just kind of carry around the house or take with me and if I think I'll have time to write I'm just going to grab it and it'll feel just like this and I just wanted to try that out because I don't have the new cover yet I just ordered it several days ago so I imagine it's going to be a couple weeks but I was super excited to see what an actual cafe notes look like I've never held one in my hand I do love this size I, I love the standard and narrow size and I like this b6 slim because it's just a little bit shorter but it, I don't know it still feels just good you know to hold it it, it feels right to me um, it's not too big and it's not so small that it's difficult to write in so I think this will work really well I'm, I'm really excited and I will definitely come back and show you how this works in the folio again I just tried it in the strings and it works okay it's gonna be really good in the folio I think just because this has more of a spine versus like when you have a traveler's notebook Oops, things are falling on the floor over here when you have the traveler's notebook insert you know you have a staple or it's sewn but it's it's a much narrow narrower fit a rounded spine versus more of a book spine and so I think that's a little bit why this kind of book isn't working great in here as it is but it's not bad I mean I definitely could get used to it I've gotten used to this chunkier weeks in here and it it works fine too but I am looking forward also to phasing this out and bringing in the calendar inserts I bought from Yellow Paper House again because it will feel more like a a good fit versus a booky thing stuck in a traveler's notebook but it, it's worked it's worked okay I, I do like this size I never thought I would like this week size and I have to say it's grown on me and I find that I'm more efficient with it I don't just scribble and write all over it I just usually write what I need to do and I typically will get that done so anyway there's just a little mini unboxing if you're thinking of ordering the Nanami cafe note I think it's a great little size we'll see how it works for journaling but I think this is going to be just right for memory keeping to and about my family. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time.